and welcome to another episode of Take 5 with Kaiser, the video where I take five minutes of your time and talk about issues within the entertainment industry, all while creating artwork like this. So in today's episode, I would like to go ahead and wrap up my Comic-Con series that I've been doing. Last, last week we talked about original content at Comic-Cons, and today I want to talk about the print towers that have seem, seemingly taken over the comic scene, the Comic-Con scene. And the reason why it really is hurtful to people who are trying to create original stuff is that you'll find people who are doing art and some of them are doing fantastic art they're doing fan art and then they have these 10 foot towers that are just you know overshadowing everybody because they're so huge and they they have so many prints and you know and they're doing things like buy two get three free and you know so they're doing these crazy print deals and stuff like that you know but it's like oh well it prints 20 bucks or $25 or something like that, you know, I was like, I don't know. But <clears throat> the thing is, is that even though they're these print tower people and that's how they're making their living, which is fine and, and dandy. But the thing that really worries me, which can really affect the Comic-Con industry is when the people who own the IPs to that artwork, to the, the fan art that they're creating is going, hey, wait a minute, you didn't license that out. And there are people who do go through the license to get the the proper rights to do t-shirts and you know all kinds of other different things and they're getting mad because like hey wait a minute i had to pay you know hundreds of dollars thousands of dollars to get the license for this and these people are just doing it for free and they're just like bam here it is everywhere and what's crazy about that is, is you know there's this kind of unspoken rule i guess when it comes to the fan art and how Artist Alley works and stuff like that, is that the industry kind of turns a blind eye to it because then they're going, you know what, it's like free publicity and they're not making enough money to really consider it like mass production. So they kind of just turn, everyone knows that it's happening, but they kind of just turn and go, meh, it's good, you know, oh well. And now by the creation of these print towers they are literally putting it in their face like hey i am violating copyright i do not have a license and i do not have the copyright for these things and yet i'm gonna go ahead and make a lot of money off of this and it's not gonna be too long i think personally that someone in one of those companies is going to be new and they're going to try and make a name for themselves and they are literally going to come in with cease and desist orders for all of artist alley and their people are going to be going through the entire portfolios of everybody and going look you can't have this you can't have this or where's the license for this did you did you acquire that do you have one do you have permission to use this and it's gonna crush in one sense it's gonna crush the artist alley portion of comic cons because so many people have fan art and once again i'm not trying to say that no one should do fan art i mean i have fan art at the table too because once again that's what pulls people in but i also have original content and i really do believe that if not careful these print towers are going to bring a lot of attention to the fact that nobody actually has the license to make prints so prints would start going away but you know you could still have your original artwork that you did so if you drew it and you have the original there then that would be considered fan art but the print idea is going to go away and i really think that we need to pay attention to the print towers that are once again putting out there like hey I don't have the copyright, but I'm going to make these sales anyway. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comments, concerns, or ideas for future topics, please drop me a comment down below. And until the next video, draw, draw, draw.